Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here, and this is your jump rope fit fat loss and muscle building workout of the day. Now today's workout is going to be a legs workout. We're gonna end up doing four different leg exercises, but in between all of the sets and reps that we're doing, we're gonna end up jump roping for one minute in between each of those sets. So basically, when you are resting the muscles, we're gonna pick up that jump rope, we're gonna do one minute of jump rope in between each of those sets. What this is doing is it's keeping that heart rate up in that fat burning target, fat burning zone for the entire workout. So essentially you are burning fat while you are building muscle throughout this entire workout. That is what makes the jump rope fit method of fitness so efficient and so effective. So the movements that we're going to do today for the leg workout is going to be dumbbell goblet squats. We're going to do dumbbell stiff legged deadlifts. We're going to do alternating dumbbell forward lunges and then we're going to do seated calf raises. We're going to do four sets of each of those and in between each of those sets like I said we're going to end up doing the jump rope for one minute. So let's go over the jump rope portion of this this workout first just to make sure we're using proper form and technique here on the jump rope. Now this should be a very easy and relaxed movement to do. Jump rope is not very difficult if you know a few tips to kind of get you started. So first off we're going to have our feet together and we're just bounding on the balls of our feet. So it's just bounding up and down. I'm just jumping a couple inches off of the ground just enough to go ahead and clear this rope. No need to bring your knees up really high or kick your feet back. That expends a lot more energy than is necessary. So we're just going to and rotate that rope. Chest is up, my shoulders are down and relaxed. I'm jumping on the balls of my feet just a couple inches off of the ground. I'm rotating that rope just with my wrists. My elbows are in close to my sides and I'm keeping my hands just slightly in front of my hips. So I mentioned a couple things there. First off, rotating the rope just with our wrists. We don't need to swing the rope around our body. This is a very light rope. It doesn't take much effort. Just a quick little flick of that rope or that wrist is going to rotate that rope around your body. Don't need a lot of movement here and a lot of energy ex expended on the rotation of the jump rope. Now a couple more things here. I said hands slightly in front of your hips. Want to make sure that those hands are out here. So when you're looking out, you should be able to see your hands in your peripheral vision. If you start to go back, what's going to happen here is you're pulling that rope behind you. The rope's going to come over. You're going to end up hitting your toes. So make sure you can always see your hands right in front of your hips. And then also, once again, guys, keep those elbows in close to your side. If your hands are start to trail out here, what happens is if your hands are coming out, that jump rope comes off the ground. And once again, as it comes over, you're going to end up tripping over that with by it's hitting your toes when you come around. So you're just going to jump rope for one minute. This is your basic two foot jump. If you want to intensify the workout, you can do run in place, which is just alternating right, left, right, left. Or you can actually intensify the workout even more and do double unders, which is going to be two rotations of the jump rope for every jump. Whichever method you choose, you're just gonna jump rope for one minute in between all the sets. All right guys, let's go over the leg exercises that we're gonna be doing today in today's muscle building fat burning workout. And we're gonna start off with dumbbell goblet squats. So you're gonna need a single dumbbell for this. So relatively heavy on here. I'm gonna set this on the ground while I go over the movement a little bit quick here. So we're gonna have this dumbbell in a front rack position in this goblet position just below our chin. Now what we're gonna end up doing here, have our feet about hip width apart, a little bit wider than hip width apart here. Toes are pointed out slightly. As we hinge those hips back and sit back in that squat, knees are gonna bend. You want those knees tracking out over your toes. We don't want them caving inwards. So you're gonna sit all the way down to full depth, but down below your knee level here, press through the ground, knees come back, open up those hips, full extension at the top. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Now, want to make sure that your weight is back in your heels. You've got this dumbbell, heavy dumbbell in this front rack position. It's going to want to pull you forward. So sit back in that squat. Don't just lean forward. Sit back, weighs in the heels. Keep that chest up all the way down through that. So grab this dumbbell underneath my chin, goblet position. Knees are tracking out over those toes, sitting back in the squat, full depth, press through the floor. Knees come back, open up those hips at the top. All the way down, all the way up all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna end up doing eight to 10 of those goblet squats. Once you've completed one set of those, now you're gonna pick up that jump rope, do one minute of jump rope. And we're gonna end up doing a total of four sets of that with that one minute jump rope in between each set. All right, the next move we're gonna end up doing today in this leg workout is going to be dumbbell stiff leg deadlifts. So we're just gonna need two dumbbells for this. We're gonna lighten up the load just a little bit here. And on these dumbbell stiff leg deadlifts, um, I see a lot of people doing them a little bit wrong here. And what they end up doing is just basically hinging over at the waist. And they're kind of just doing them like this and hinging over at the waist. 
What we want to do is we want to feel it back in our hamstrings. So your legs are going to be straight or as stiff as possible, but you're going to have a little bit of a bend in those knees. Now, instead of bending over, I want you to think about sending your butt backwards. So instead of just bending over, we are sending our butt back. So what that does is as we send that butt back, now you're starting to feel that pull in your hamstrings. And we're keeping these dumbbells as close to our thighs and down our shins as we possibly can. Now, as far as the depth is concerned, that's based on your own flexibility and mobility. Uh, for me, once I get down to about shin level, that's about as far as I can go. Some people are able to go all the way to the ground on these. But for me, as I send that butt back, I really start to feel the pull in that hamstring. Knees are bent slightly here, and that's when I reverse and stand them fully upright. So we have our two dumbbells here. Palms are facing our hips here. Now, feet are about hip width apart here, slight bend in those knees. Now, I'm gonna send that butt back, and I'm going straight back with that butt as I'm going down with those dumbbells across the front of my thighs, down to my shins. Now I'm in full depth here, really feeling that pull in my hamstrings. So now I'm gonna reverse that, stand fully up, roll those shoulders at the back all the way down, slow and controlled. Feel that pull in those hamstrings all the way up. Send that butt back and then all the way up. So on these stiff legged deadlifts, you're gonna end up doing a set of eight to 10 reps and we're gonna jump rope for one minute in between each of those sets. Then we're gonna move on to the next movement, which is gonna be alternating dumbbell forward lunges. So once again, we're gonna need two dumbbells for this. Palms are facing each other. So from here, what we're gonna end up doing, shoulders up, chest back, or shoulders back, chest up. We are going to lunge forward with the right leg and then come all the way up, full extension, opening up at the top, all the way down, all the way up, and we're alternating here, right and left. We're gonna do a set of eight to 10 reps here on each leg. Couple things on these lunges I wanna go over. Make sure you're not short stepping the lunge. What that means is make sure you're stepping far enough out. If you short step it and you don't step far enough out, when you go into this lunge, what's gonna happen is your knee is gonna go way over the top of your toe, heel's gonna come off the ground, puts a lot of extra added strain on your knee, knee and your ankle. So make sure you are stepping far enough out that when you go into this lunge, you have a nice 90 degree angle here on this front leg. Now also, you have these two dumbbells and you're moving forward and backwards, so there's a lot of momentum there with the dumbbells. I wanna make sure that you're rolling those shoulders back, engaging those lats, squeezing your triceps. So when you go into this lunge, upper part of your body is perfectly vertical here. What it's gonna to wanna to do with that momentum, it's gonna to wanna to pull you over the front of that front leg. So lock everything up. So when you're in these lunges, upper part of your body is straight up and down. All right guys, so you're gonna do a set of eight to 10 of those forward lunges with that one minute of jump rope in between each set. Now we're gonna move on to the final leg movement today, and that's gonna be seated calf raises. So I've got a bench here. I'm gonna go ahead, pull this bench out a little bit. And we're gonna need two dumbbells for this. I'm just gonna use the same that I've been using here. And what we're gonna do here is just bring our legs together and our knees together, put these dumbbells right at the edge of our knees. So my feet are on the ground, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our heels off the ground and then all the way down. I'll turn to the side here so you can see a little bit better. So from here, dumbbells are on my knees, heels are on the ground, chest up, shoulders back. You're gonna squeeze up, squeeze and pause at the top. Pause for like three, five seconds up here. Then slow and controlled back down. Come all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Now you can even put a little block yoga block, two by four, something like that underneath your toes. Or like, for example, here, I have this little edge. So you go a little bit deeper in that calf. You can go down below, go a little bit of a negative there. So once again, you're gonna do a set of eight to 10 reps of those. And then you're gonna pick up that jump rope. You're gonna do one minute jump rope in between all those sets. And you're gonna end up doing four sets. All right, guys, so that completes all of the actual leg movements today, but we have a little bit of a burnout here for you today, which is gonna be three sets of 25 bodyweight squats. So make sure all your equipment is out of the way here, and we're just gonna burn it out here. Three sets of bodyweight squats, so no weight needed on these. What you wanna do is get in a nice squat stance here, so your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart, chest up, shoulders back. You're gonna send, hinge at the hips, send those hips back, start to go into that squat. Knees start to bend and knees are tracking out over those toes, make sure they're not caving inwards. So you're gonna come all the way down to full depth with that chest up, butt down below knee level. All the way up, opening up those hips at the top, knees go back, all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna do a nice, slow and controlled set of 25 of these. Once you've completed 25 of those, you can pick up the jump rope, do another one minute jump rope, do another set of those 25, pick up the jump rope, 
then do another final set of those 25 body weight squats and that will complete this workout. All right guys, that is your workout of the day. I will see you right back here again for your next jump rope fit workout. Hey guys, to get more workouts and training programs just like this one, I am launching a Jump Rope Fit 365 program where I will send you 10 Jump Rope Fit workouts every week for an entire year. Just click the link below to get started or visit jumpropefit.com. I'll see you there.